You're starving. You want to eat some steak? Welcome to It's a Party, I'm Nate, and today I want to talk about steak. We're going to go over some basic, simple technique. We're also going to be featuring a really fun spice uh, that we found recently. It's called Grill Your Ass Off, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So technique, technique, technique. We get questions all the time on our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. By the way, if you're not following us on each of those, go find us with It's a Party TV. Uh, we get a ton of questions all the time just asking like basic, like how do I do this a little bit better? Most of you all know what you're doing, you know how to cook, you guys are doing great on the grill, but you wanted to add a little bit of panache, a little bit of technique, and that's gonna really take your flavor game and your cooking uh, technique game to the next level. So in this video, we're gonna go over some basics, we're gonna talk about heat zones, uh, we're gonna talk about timing, let's get into it. Now the Grill Your Ass Off seasonings we're gonna be featuring today are my deuce, Steak seasoning, it's really great, and Crispy's mango habanero. We're gonna put those on some potatoes, but let's get to the steak first. Now today I'm using boneless ribeye. We're gonna use a really thick cut. I mean, it's super thick, but thicker than a single steak because I'm gonna slice this and serve it for everybody. Uh, so I'm gonna start with just a little bit of olive oil over the surface. Not too much, you don't wanna saturate it, just a little bit to coat steak, every buddy? single yep. side. Show me. Uh, my boy Titus is helping me. He's gonna add that Maduce all over that steak. Now here's a fun little trick. Once you're done seasoning both sides, add some more of that seasoning uh, directly to the plate. Now we're gonna use our tongs and use the fat side, uh, season the fat side. Basically you wanna season every single inch. And this seasoning is really, really fantastic. Uh, so that's pretty much all we're doing. Now we're gonna go onto our hot, hot grill. Uh, we're gonna sear that on both sides. We're gonna get those hey, nice cross hash marks and we wanna cook it as quickly as possible, hey. my dudes were hanging out. This is Uriah, hey. he's the shark man. He's super cool, and he loves steak, steak, which is pretty awesome. Steak? And uh, Woo. yeah, he's he's almost two and a half. Anyway, so we're gonna get a nice char in this. Now don't be afraid of flare ups, it's really, really delicious. Uh, we'll get to that in just a bit. Let's get to our Krispies mango habanero. This stuff is awesome, I've got some yellow potatoes. Sorry, time out, we caught a lizard. What'd you get, dude? A baby wow, the little ones are hard to catch, man. Yeah, and they tiny. So we're gonna add some olive oil to our yellow potatoes. We're gonna add that Krispies mango habanero. It's really, really fantastic. That's all you need. Uh, it's really gonna stand up to the heat really well. Uh, we're also gonna add some whole garlic cloves, a touch more olive oil. And we're gonna wrap up our bundle. Oh, before that, let's move our steak over. So we've got that gorgeous char on the outside. Char is wonderful. Flare-ups are awesome. Don't listen to what people tell you. We want that difference. So we're cooking it really fast, really quick, high if possible, moving it over to the cool zone. We'll get back to heat zones in a minute. Now we're gonna wrap up our potato mango habanero bundle, throw that uh, onto the grill. Let's let it hit, uh, sit on the direct heat just for a little bit to, to kind of get the steam moving on the inside. Now we're gonna move it away from the direct heat, but pretty close to it still. Now today I'm also cooking some salmon, some broccolini, and some corn on the cob. Uh, my little ones love salmon, which is so great. My, my boys aren't the pickiest of eaters, except for my oldest, the Lizard Whisperer. Uh, so we're gonna go with our corn first. We're going over direct heat just to get some char. We're just gonna toast them lightly. Uh, then we're actually gonna move them away from direct heat and let them finish cooking in the ambient heat of the grill. Uh, now let's get to our broccolini. Broccolini is fantastic. It's a hearty, hearty, wonderful vegetable. Uh, so we're just gonna do some olive oil and salt and pepper. Uh, my little ones are eating this, so I was gonna use the mango habanero, but it's got a it's got a really great sweet heat to it. But my little ones can't handle it. So if you love that sweet heat, go for it because it's awesome. Uh, we're adding some apple wood to create some smoke. Uh, that's gonna have a really, really subtle smoke, a delicate smoke. We don't want a heavy smoke. Uh, so I'm gonna throw my broccolini on, direct heat, close that lid, and let that smoke start to billow on the inside. This is gonna flavor everything that we have in our grill so far. Um, give those a flip. We wanna get a nice char on these quickly, just like we did this steak, because I said it's a hearty vegetable. We're gonna get a really good char, a good caramelization, then we're gonna move it over to the indirect heat. Now I've got my grill set in two heat zones. One side direct high heat, the other side on low, uh, zero heat, so we're basically looking at like a ambient heat. Controlling your heat zones is super important to, to getting that technique down to get your uh, cook times done properly. I'm gonna flip those potatoes around just so they don't 
I get too crispy. Oh, then it started raining. So I was having a decent day of filming and then this happened. Oh, Florida. Oh, Florida. Oh, rainy. Actually, it's coming down pretty good. Hang on, I got... I got stuff on the lens. Now here's a fun trick if you want to add just a bit more smoke, you can add a good puff of smoke by adding chips instead of chunks. So you can just throw those chips, they fall right through the grates. Uh, and that'll actually give you a really fast smoke. It won't stay for a long time, but it'll give you a good, healthy, plumpy, plump, plump, plump of smoke. And that's gonna permeate all of our vegetables and our meat at the same time. Keep that closed, let that smoke billow, let all that flavor really permeate uh, inside your grill. Now moving my corn over to the indirect heat side. Let's get to our salmon. I'm using some uh, delicious little fillets. All, uh, olive oil, salt and pepper. Again, I would have used the mango habanero, but salt and pepper because my little ones are eating it. And they're not quite so refined to be eating that deliciousness. So salt and pepper, both sides, uh, and then we're gonna go over direct heat. Now, the trick to cooking fish is to cook it hot and to cook it fast. So I'm going direct heat as hot as possible so that I can get the beautiful char on the outside, uh, on both sides, then move it over to the indirect heat side to finish cooking. This is gonna give me a more even cook and it's also gonna give me a much better texture because we've got those flames, we got that heat. So look at this, so we've got all of our heat on one side, no, uh, all of our coals on one side, no coals on the other. Those are our heat zones. That's what you need to remember. So uh, we're all finished, pretty much. So we're gonna take all of our vegetables off. Uh, we're gonna take our fish, a beautiful, gorgeous fish. We have our potato pouch, which we'll open. We'll open that up in just a second. Um, now we have our steak. Look at this thing. This thing is bad to the bone. That seasoning is really fantastic. We got a really high sear. We got that char. We got the edges all seasoned, so there's not a single bite that's not gonna be delicious. Fantastic. That is the way to do steak, my friends. Uh, what do you think of that? <laughs> my little one. A little no, meat eater. Attached. Got a meat eater. This is great. This Carnivores. Look good. Look delicious. Bite. He wants a bite. <laughs> Can you have a bite in a minute? Oh, I love that kid. He wants a bite. So here's our potato pouch. Now when we open it up, you can see we've got lots of different textures going on. Some of the bottom bits uh, are nice and caramelized, really charred. Others aren't because it was in a pouch. Uh, that garlic gets really creamy like butter. So good. Let's cut this steak open and see how we did. Look at that, my friends. Look how much even cooking we have. You don't have that big gray band around the outside because you were overcooking. You've got a ton of perfectly cooked ribeye. That's how you do it. It's with timing, it's with heat zones, and it's with allowing the sear first and then the indirect heat second. Uh, that's just, that's the way it's done. That is the way it's done. Simple, easy, food on the grill, doesn't have to be difficult. Uh, find some really fantastic seasonings. You guys can check out our coupon code. It's a party TV, you get 15% off of all the grill your ass off items. Uh, you can find the link down in the description. And my men love it, my bride loves it, I love it, that's how you grill. So technique, technique, technique. Start working with your heat zones, start working with your timing and your vegetables and when things cook and how fast they cook, and you will be a grill pro in no time. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Nate, if you guys want to leave a comment, let us know what videos you wanna see in the future. Be sure to like, comment, and share, because with good food and good drinks, it's a party.